Hello guys, it's uh, Caroline again and uh, uh, this morning you can see today it's uh, February 28th and we just have the first hour of trade in the uh, London Open and as you can see um, the first kind first our candle uh, tried to to go up but couldn't break above and the sellers came back into the market so why is this happening please whenever you take it whenever you decide to look at this chart always look to the left it's a golden rule it will help you a lot you can see <laughs> you see there was resistance up here and this day uh, February 20th there was resistance here uh, February uh, uh, 17 you could see there was resistance here tested and came back in Asia session tested it and came back in the US session again tested it and came back so um, if you look at what was happening here from the yesterday on to this level so see this happening when if there is a a buy trade go long please you don't want to take it like that so this is the high time of these three uh time frames that we can add so the one hour chart i begin with one hour chart looking at this chart also a breakdown of the track cause that resistance level so we have moved to the 15 minutes chart if you look at the 15 minutes chart you could see what's happening here a price during the Asian session just stayed above there and you can see the first hour this is what happened it tried it came down the first few minutes tried to go up this we saw in the one hour chart but couldn't um, by the last 15 minutes of the first hour you saw the price was already breaking down so I see that was happening at the first hour of trade would have gone to your five minutes chart so at the five minutes yard, so what happened here? I was the first five minutes was above, but because the fifty-one hour was uh, past the level, you were not going to take the trade. So very, very good to get the higher time frames before you take your trades. So what would have happened? Because you're looking right now for price to be rejected at that. Uh, uh, once this happened, you saw price broke down here on the fifteen minutes chart, close below. Um, below the moving the two moving averages you jump down to your five minutes chart you see what is happening here at this point in the five minutes chart because of what happened there that's where we would have gone short we got short here at 1.0776 at the close of this candle oh, God. expand that a little bit yeah at the close of this candle here you would have gone short after looking at the f one hour, 15 minutes, at this point, you would have gone short. And place your stop loss. Just above the high here, the high above here. Stop loss would have come here. Just a few pips above the high there. 1789. You take a trade at 1.077. 7. Six thousand so about twenty pips, but you're targeting twenty pips, so your target would have been uh one point zero seven uh seven eight uh six eight. Your target would have been five eight. Uh, about here. That's your target for the day. So you can see price is still moving. It's still doing what it does best. So just watch and see what happens. At this point in time, you can actually move your stop loss from there to break even. Yep. To break even. Hey, if it comes and takes you out at that point, no problem. You just have a break even. Preservation of your capital is very, very important. So we'll just watch the trade for a few minutes and see what happens. Yeah. 
Okay, after a few minutes, I'm back. We're almost getting to 11 o'clock, and you can see our stop loss is still in place at break even, and uh, the target we've not reached. The target um, uh, just came back here, and uh, just gonna the truth is, is, if I was here at the close of that candle, I would have closed the trade and just wait. But um, if you go to the 15 minutes chart, you can see that price is still trading below that moving average. If you go to the 1 hour, you can see actually waiting for this price to break down those below that moving, below that moving average. And if that should be able, that, that should happen. You know, sometimes I look stochastic, which is here. It helps me to gauge, you know, sometimes you think stochastic helps, but look at what happened here. Down and then just went up, so it's equally happened here, but because of reasons here, you actually can't break. So it can go back down here. At this point, if I feel there is a lot of uh, sideways movement right now, and uh, um, so if you're comfortable holding the trade at this point, you can close and take your 10 pips or 20 pips from this trade and just wait. Um, I like to sometimes cheer the sort of what is happening there. So you might want to just close trade and then re-enter because of what is happening. While this kind of here, if it closes below that moving range, and 15 minutes also still below those moving averages. And uh, you can go back to the five minutes. See that there's a support, li <coughs> support line that has something there. So if you're not comfortable thinking, okay, my go and take you to a river. Hey, you can catch your ten, your ten pips in that scalping. Some people look for just five pips a day. Twenty ten is something halfway to your to your daily uh, to your daily gold of twenty pips. Then you can be out of the market and they just wait. And uh, if I break through that support line. You can decide to go short again so long as price stays below the moving average on the 15th and below the moving average on the one chart. But on the R and M, this right at this point, I would wait for a pullback. Sometimes if you use a Fibonacci, you can add and come back. Usually it's about 50% or 61%. So it might pull back right to the 107.19 or 107.03. And 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 then there's a good trace. As you can see that the new one-hour candle has just opened as well. Um, it's pretty under the. So this actually closed below, below that moving average. This kind of actually below that moving average. So you can hold on to the trade out. Like I said, if you are comfortable that is trade above here, you can close and wait for a break below this, this support line that has formed there, and then. Uh, uh, there you go the day at least 10 pips into your pocket as you relax and so I hope uh, this helps you out again and uh, to email any questions you may have and uh, you stay blessed and have a nice day bye what